Wake up, Tony. I met a new friend. I would say for me, my definition of a cult film is something that was not initially successful when it was released. I approach it from a starting point of success or lack thereof. Going back to a film like uh, The Wizard of Oz, for example, which was very poorly received upon its initial release. And I think of applying that to other films like Vertigo or Blade Runner, The Big Lebowski, The Thing. <laughs> The one common denominator that a lot of these films have is they were not financially successful or critically successful in their theatrical release. And for whatever reason, the timing wasn't right or the release date wasn't right or the film was ahead of its time. It just didn't work out. And for whatever reason, those films just didn't connect in their initial release. Now, upon further discovery, the films are extraordinary and they have layers and they have just incredible dimension or humor or vision and they endure, right? And so all art endures over a long period of time and it either ages well or it ages poorly, uh, but it's gonna age and it's gonna marinate in the public's consciousness. Who are you talking to? You know, cult to me is, is, a, is a way of rescuing something from from oblivion or rescuing something from failure, and it's a group of passionate people who want to bring something that's misunderstood or neglected into the mainstream. And that's a great thing. I just killed my best friend. And your worst enemy. Same difference. It just means that a great film is getting rediscovered. And so I say, uh, God bless the cults. <laughs> the cult members are actually doing a good thing for the most part, you know, unless you just happen to hate certain cult films, but then go join a different cult. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>